All right, in this video, we're going to get into Gay-Lussac's law, which is pressure is directly related to temperature. So if pressure goes up, temperature goes up. It is basically what that's saying. Our P1 and T1 are directly related to P2 and T2. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at a, at a problem here. Um, suppose a container of hairspray with a pressure of four atmospheric units at room temperature of 25 degrees Celsius is thrown into a fire. If the temperature of the gas can reach uh, 402 degrees Celsius, what will be its pressure? The aerosol can container may explode if the pressure inside exceeds 8 uh, atm. Would you expect it to explode? Um, basically, what we're going to do is plug in these values for our P1, which is this right here, and our... Uh, temperature one, which is this right here, for our temperature two, which is that right there, and then we're going to solve for our uh, pressure two. So this is uh, our unknown right here. This is what we eventually want to figure out is our temperature two. So we get our adjusted problem here, or our adjusted formula here rather, by cross multiplying. I'm going to cross multiply uh, P1 and T2 by T2 and P2, or T1 and P2 here. So I'm going to end up with P1 times T2 is going to equal P2 times T1. These are basically the same thing. This is the same as that. It's saying that. It's just written differently. And I think this is a little bit easier whenever you go about solving problems this way. So that's my personal pr preference. Um, you can keep it this way and solve that that way if you'd like. Uh, but at any rate, this is how we're going to do the problem. So our pressure one was four atmospheric units. I did that in yellow. So let me draw that in yellow over here. Four atm times our temperature two, which was 402 degrees Celsius. Okay, uh, I did that in green. The only problem with that is that's in Celsius. We need to be in Kelvin. Um, so if you remember from the last video, 402 plus 273 is going to equal 675. So 675 degrees Kelvin. And that's going to equal our P2, which we don't know, and our T1 which is 25 degrees Celsius. And I did that in a mauve color there, it looks like. 25 degrees Celsius. So 25 plus 273 equals 298 degrees Kelvin. 298 degrees Kelvin. So all we do now is divide both sides by 298. That's a 9 right there. Cancels out, and we're left with 298 degrees Kelvin equals our P2. So all we do is grab our calculator again and solve for P2. I'll move this out of the way for you so you can see what I'm doing. 4 ATM times 675 divided by 298. That equals 9.06. So P2, 9.06. Now 9.06 what? Well, Kelvin cancels out here, and we're left with ATM, so it's 9.06 atmospheric units. Okay? Um, you can adjust for significant figures. There's two here, two there, three there, so this should be two. Uh, so really it should be, you know, 9.0, um, or I'm sorry, not 9.0, 9.1 ATM. Now that's the first part of our question. Um, what will the new pressure be? And the second one was, um, if the pressure exceeds 8 ATM, it may explode. Would you expect it to explode? Well, this is at 9.1 ATM. That's, you know, a whole atmospheric unit and then some above 8. So I would say... Uh, yes, it's probably a pretty good chance it will explode. And that's our problem.
Thanks for watching. I hope that helped.